we present a novel soft color segmentation method for image manipulation applications. Our method takes an ordinary image as input and produces partially transparent segments of homogeneous colors fully automatically. Soft color segmentation is done solely on colors, and we call each resulting segment a layer. We show that the resulting decomposition serves as an effective intermediate image representation, which can be utilized for performing various, seemingly unrelated image manipulation tasks. We will now present our method. We start by determining a set of prominent colors in the image, called the color model. We gradually add new color distributions estimated from the neighborhood of selected seed pixels until the whole image is well represented. As a result, we determine the number of distributions automatically. The seed locations are determined with the help of representation scores, which we efficiently compute using the novel projected color unmixing formulation. We can detect colors with high saturation or brightness, as well as colors covering small areas, unlike the competing methods. Our color distributions have smaller variances, which makes them more descriptive. We use the color model as an input to the novel sparse color unmixing, which gives us a preliminary set of layers. When compared to the color unmixing method, sparse color unmixing does not suffer from the spurious alpha values as seen near the trees and on the road here. In order to get high quality layers, we spatially regularize the alpha channels obtained using the sparse color unmixing and then refine the layer's colors accordingly in a second optimization step. We compare our algorithm with five methods that can be applied to soft color segmentation. While the computation time of our method is higher than the color unmixing, the difference between the layer qualities is significant. The alternating optimization method runs much slower and shows notable color homogeneity and smoothness issues. KNN matting also suffers from impractical runtimes and quality issues, a characteristic issue coming from the hard constraints on the alpha values. The multiple image layers estimation method tends to put too much emphasis on the spatial coherency. As a result, the yellow of the road lines is included in other layers as seen here. Finally, as spectral matting generates a set of spatially connected soft layers, it is not directly applicable to soft color segmentation. Comparisons with these algorithms in a hundred different images are provided in the supplementary material. Our algorithm is highly scalable and parallelizable. We process this 100 megapixel image on a desktop computer in four hours using up to 25 gigabytes of memory. Note that within the same time budget, KNN matting can only process a 2.5 megapixel image. The layers produced by our method can easily be imported into popular image manipulation software and can be edited using familiar tools and interfaces. For instance, the color of the clouds can be seamlessly changed, independent from the sea. The curve tool is used here to give more volume to the clouds, and colors of the sunset and the ground are changed using different tools. We will now show step-by-step -step applications to demonstrate how the process affects individual layers. We start by darkening the highlights. Then, we use the curve tool to enrich the midtones on the skin. We continue by changing the pink and the blue of the coats in the image. We finally adjust the color of the object in the background in order to avoid directing the viewer's attention away from the toddler. This example demonstrates the compositing capabilities of our method. We start by replacing the layer corresponding to the green screen with a new background image. We change the color and then the brightness and contrast of the hat. The foreground is then adjusted to fit the new scene better. We will present a set of results, each of which was generated using our layers in around two minutes using Adobe Photoshop. The skin color is adjusted, and the colors of the shirt and the background are changed in order to get this result. When layers extracted by color unmixing are used, even the smallest edit results in visual artifacts. Editing the image using layers by KNN matting is not quite possible because when overlaid, KNN matting layers give a severely degraded version of the original image. We alter the colors of several layers so that the image looks like it was shot during midday. In this example, we can change the colors of multiple objects, but most prominently the ivy leaves, despite the complex scene structure.
Note that this image is noisy and not fully in focus. Our method works well even if the image quality is not perfect. We change the colors of the background highlights. Note the natural looking mixture of colors where the light sources intersect. Since our method creates smooth transitions between layers, we can easily perform color changes without causing visual artifacts. Here, we demonstrate a realistic color change of a flower. Here's an example where we overlay a texture on a single layer, in this case to give the cupboard a worn out appearance. The pattern of the chalk seamlessly integrates with the scene on the right. While our method is designed for image editing, it is possible to extend it to video in some constrained cases such as green screen keying. We estimated the color model from a single frame and reused it for the whole video. Thanks for watching.